Here he is, one of the most fabulous figures in all prize fight history, Sugar Ray Robinson, who lost only one fight out of 133 bouts. The only man to beat him, Jake LaMotta, was subsequently beaten four times, and the last one was when Sugar Ray won the middleweight championship of the world. Here he is, getting ready for his first title defense of the middleweight title. There are the London reporters, including a young lady reporter on the left. And here is the challenger, Randolph Turpin. He is young. He's only uh, 23 years old. He had only 46 fights, and he lost two out of the 46, but he reversed those two losses. Here he is in his training quarters in Wales, waving down to a fine holiday crowd. Everybody in Great Britain was rooting for him, but very few felt that he could win. First off, he had never gone more than eight rounds in his life, and he was very young for the very clever... 11-year experience champion. This is London. It's still daylight, although it's quite late at night in those latitudes. The sun still gives quite a lot of light around between 9 and 10 o'clock. Here's the announcer announcing the two boxers. Robinson is also known very affectionately as his sugar ship. There's Randolph Turpin ready for the big test of his life. opening round and this is the round of course when uh, the spectators as well as the boxers have a chance to study styles. This is a brilliant audience here. Half of Burke's peerage is on hand. Movie stars, big politicians and of course the rank and file fans all wedged into the hall here watching Randolph Turpin with his back to us. He has a white stripe down his trunks and the initials R.A.T. It can be seen there in the lower right. Turpin has a, a rather jumping jack style. He looks like one of those 10 cent store monkeys on a stick occasionally as he flexes his knees. But the feature of this round is not only the referee cautioning them for a kidney punch here that Turpin landed on Ray Robinson, but the fact that Turpin showed absolutely no fear of Robinson. In fact, bullied him around and wailed him as if to say, I'm the boss in here. Turpin is far from the uh, overly impressed rookie. He's in here with the greatest fighter pound for pound the ring has ever seen. And he's acting as if he's the boss and he knows it. Right from the very first bell. Beautiful long left by Turpin. But it's in the clinches that he does most of the damage. Robinson digging for the body, trying to lower that guard. Notice how high Turpin carries his glove. Protects his chin well. The referee is Eugene Henderson. Glancing right off the cheekbone of Ray Robinson. Robinson digging with light left jabs. Notice that up and down elevator style of Turpin. They're pushing leather into each other's faces in the clinch. Beautiful right and a left hook staggered Robinson. He came back on his heels then. That was a stiff punch. The 
Those are the punches in close that Robinson had a great deal of trouble smothering. A brilliant champion, Robinson, but up against a very unorthodox box. Notice how relaxed uh, Turpin is in the right side of the picture there. Whether that was psychological warfare or not, we don't know, but he just acted as if this were just another outing and he didn't have a care in the world. He crossed himself as the gong sounded and out he comes for round two. It was in this round that Robinson suffered cuts inside his mouth. Notice that Robinson keeps circling clockwise to get away from Turpin's best punch and his stiffest hand, the one that does the most damage is the left. Robinson maneuvering for to throw his combination of punches, steps back and you'll note that Turpin moves in swiftly whenever Robinson steps back. Gives him no chance to get set. Robinson went down in the same kind of a bob as Turpin did then. But Robinson mostly fought standing up, Turpin bobbing up and down, presenting a very difficult target. Turpin uh, was four pounds heavier, but he acted as if he were much heavier and much stronger. He's a natural middleweight. And connect. Robinson disinclined to fight too much in the clinches. That was the right that he keeps whipping over Robinson's left shoulder. Robinson had very little success blocking that. Robinson, the great champion that he is, is trying to devise a defense for this jack-in-the-box style of opponent who really is rough in those clinches. Both men trying to outfaint each other. up of Randy Turpin and here's another shot at him there is a picture of a relaxed man just out for a pleasant night and here he's fighting for the middleweight championship of the world for a packed house a two hundred thousand dollar gate Ray trying to stab and hook, a beautiful hook by uh, Sugar Ray. His right was short, but he still shows flashes of his brilliance. There is a lot of head beating, a couple of good headaches in the making. When Robinson digs for the stomach, Turpin either steps back or lowers his legs, lowers his knees. Turpin lets Robinson push him back. Turpin, Turpin leans on Robinson. Trying to 
to wear him down.